Hey shooters, I'm gonna talk a little bit about position shooting. And not so much the position as to what you might expect to see through your scope and to be comfortable with what you see through your scope. So most of the time we're either shooting standing, we might shoot sitting, kneeling, or prone. And because it's a comfortable position or position you're used to where you're using body mechanics, muscle on bone, there's a certain harmonic that you can expect to see and you're probably comfortable seeing. But let's introduce a prop to the mix and we'll see what happens. From the top position, you'll have to get comfortable with the movement that occurs when you brace on the top of this tier. Your rifle will tend to move horizontally. So when you're looking for your reticle at your target, you'll actually see the reticle move in a horizontal fashion. The up and down, the vertical element, is taken care of by your shoulder and your body. But because it's braced on the top here, you will see a horizontal movement that you've got to get comfortable with in order to break shots cleanly. Now from this position, you might attempt to do a high kneeling. Well, I'm six foot four and I can't get my knee up high enough or my elbow low enough to do it. So from this position, I would push my magazine well hard into the wall, reach over the top with my uh, left hand, and actually brace my forearm against the side of the wall, grab a hold of the forearm, push forward and down. And that gives me a very stable platform. So as I get into this position, I find it good, I'm comfortable with it, the reticle just makes little tiny smooth circular motions and I can easily break a shot within that motion. Again, that's what leads to more hits. Now this, from this position, I won't use the end of my forehand. I'll go about halfway up. I won't smash my magwell against it because I can't get my arm far enough forward and I can't make use of this high quality piece of structure back here known as reverse kneeling. So I, this is all set up based on reverse kneeling. I have my right leg in a position that I can put my right elbow on it and get solid bone on bone contact. That secures the rear of the rifle. I'll let my forehand go wherever it needs to go that I, so I can have that contact and then place my left hand as far forward as I can get and brace it against not only the down uh, section of the wall but also the left vertical section of the wall. So now that I have so many points of contact and a good brace at the rear, the right rear, my rifle remains virtually stable, virtually still and it's very easy to break shots. Again, the takeaway from this whole thing is for you to be comfortable with your reticle movement in different positions. I've progressed from least stable to most stable on this wall, but every position that's available to you, you might have to use on a particular target. It's incumbent upon you to learn every position and recognize the reticle movement so you can break clean shots at speed.